All right, guys, I'm at Slim Chickens again tonight. I'm excited. Um, so when this location opened, if you signed up for the rewards program on the through the website and you put this as your location, the first hundred people got invited back tonight for a free swag bag. Came with, let me show you. I haven't actually looked inside yet. I only know one of the things, because I already used it. Comes with a gift card, $10, pretty cool. So we got that. We also have koozie for your can or bottle or whatnot. Cool. Oh, is this what I think is? Because I wanted one. It's a t-shirt. And it's my size, I think. Slim chickens. Look at that. Poppy rolling in the swag tonight. Okay. Cool stuff. And you get this cool little bag. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So, that's my swag bag, but we're not here for that. We are here to finally try the chicken sandwich from Slim Chicken. And something else. I'll show you that first. It's one of the jar desserts. Look, it's Oreo. It's like got little cheesecake pieces and Oreo and stuff. Like, and then you get to keep it and it's Slim Chicken's like, yo. Six bucks, but you get to keep the jar. And look at this. I don't know, it's pretty sizable, right? There's a poppy head, there's a jar. I don't know. That said, let's get our chicken sandwich. I've been here once before. Link above if you want to see that. That was, uh, I tried the tenders. Pretty good. At the time, they took the number one spot on my list. I believe. Yeah. Um, since that, I've had one that was better, but that was coming. That was gonna happen. But it's good tenders. So I'm hoping the chicken sandwich follows suit and quality. I've heard mixed things back when they came back. Um, let's see what I think. Let's pop this thing open. I got the meal, so it comes in this box. Diet's out the window today, trust me. Um, it's my second chicken sandwich of the day. Okay. So I just got the classic. They have a whole bunch of takes on this, but I wanted to see what their chicken sandwich was. Let's get our stupid selfie thumbnail with it quick. I just want to dig in. It looks good. What's a good angle? You got to get the money shot, right? All right. So you've got your fried chicken breast. Looks like it's seasoned pretty well. It's got mayos, pickles. Bun is nicely toasted. Nicely toasted. And I forgot what it said this is. I think it's like a garlic aioli. So they don't just straight up put mayo on, they jazz it up a bit. Interesting. Let's get a bite of just the chicken first here to see. Okay. It reminds me very closely of another chicken sandwich on the market. Let's take a real bite. It's good. Um, it's good, but you see me hesitating here. Let me take another bite. Very good, very juicy. I don't know about the aioli. That's good. There's so much saltiness, sodiumness going on there, you don't really, I mean, it tastes like mayo, it's the whole thing is the same flavor. Um, it's very good. It's very similar to a KFC chicken sandwich. The flavor profile is, to me, almost identical. Now I will say, this is a perfectly made chicken sandwich. I don't always get that from KFC. They're hit or miss. Um, the pickles are good, the bun's good. I'd say this seems like a higher quality version of that, but I think it's also a little more expensive and it's harder to find. I can roll down the road and get a KFC one. That said, very good. And they have more options here. They've got, there's like barbecue ones, there's a buffalo one, I think. I don't know. There's options. And the sides and everything are like better, right? We got some fries here. Very good. 
Very good. Wish I had a dip or something for him. Ketchup. But I don't. And I'd bring him home right now, but it's a 30 minute drive and I'm going to Ikea. So that's not gonna happen. I don't know. Hope y'all are doing well. Um, I thought I was gonna make this a longer video. Do I make you stick around to see the dessert? Now let's try the dessert. So, a little spoon. That doesn't seem like the right utensil for this, but that's what they gave me. So that's what we're gonna use. They make the rolls. Got this guy. The real selfie would have been with both, right? Can I still get that? No, I've devoured too much of this. Like, hey, nah, nah. Hey, let's pop this open. They got a whole cooler of these in there. They've got different varieties. I don't know how to get in. There's just like Oreo, just it's stacked down there. I mean, check this out. How good does this look? It looks so good. One of my YouTuber buddies, Paige Alicious, did a video of this ages ago, and I was like, I need that in my life. And now I have it in my life. So that was just Oreo cookie and whipped cream. We gotta get in there. I'm gonna get this all over the fries. Yo. You start getting in there, and you get the cheesecake bite mixed with some of the Oreo. It's like you're eating some Oreo cheesecake. Let me, let me try and show you. Um, and yeah, I'm not really gonna make this a longer video. I don't have that much to talk about. That's why I haven't been doing my vlogs on the vlog channel. Um, so it just looks like a mess. Life's good though. Um, been slacking on the diet lately. Kind of stopped losing. We'll pick that back up. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, yeah, things are good. That's good. Going down to South Carolina this weekend, I think. I think. Um, Debating if there's anything I need to try. Might just hang out with my brother. I don't know. We'll see. There's a place there called Hip Burger. I think they had some new stuff that looked pretty good. I might try that. Um... They're eventually getting a chain called Huey Magoo's, which is like this, or like Zaxby's, or Cane's. It's tenders and things. Chicken sandwiches. It's not open yet. I'll make the trip back down there again when that does happen. Um, there's a place around here called BB.Q. It's a barbecue place. They appear to have amazing chicken fingers. And I've been doing the chicken finger thing, so I want to try them. That's as far as the drive from me to that as it was from here to, you know. This was a 30 minute hike on a terrifying highway. I was giving another YouTuber a hard time. They were gonna come to Charlotte. They're like terrified of the traffic. Like, they don't wanna do it. I'm like, really? But at the same time, like, they have a point. It's. It's some crappy traffic. It's not like real big city traffic. It's like Charlotte's a baby big city. It's it's at the beginnings of its big cityness, but the traffic's real. It's it's there. I remember driving, being in New York City or Boston. Or, I've been in Dallas. Traffic is. <laughs> Traffic is not great. I think those are the only real big cities I've been to. I met Toronto. <laughs> That's some traffic. 
I took a wrong turn. Got off the highway. I was going through the middle of downtown Toronto. That was terrifying. Nobody cared about it. They were just walking in front of me. That was interesting. Tons of Asians. I learned that I think I think this was the statistic. Toronto it has the second high, the highest or second highest like Asian population. Was it Asia? was it a certain country outside of Asia? So there's all sorts of like. Asian things, businesses, cool, cool stuff. It took me by surprise. <clears throat> if you're right in the downtown, I mentioned there were a million people walking around. I was like, oh, uh, they're, they're all Asian. It's like I'm in a Chinatown or something. It was, it's a different vibe, different vibe. But mostly I was terrified I was gonna hit somebody that didn't care I was trying to drive through downtown Toronto. Uh, I guess I'm still talking. Clearly I've gone back on my don't make it long thing. Oh, what else is good? I still don't really have any friends here. I'm working on that, kinda. I don't know. Kinda made friends with a few of my coworkers. Does that count? I, I think it counts. I don't know. Grab beers with the one dude. A person are gonna grab beers like next week or something. That's like, it's like friends, right? I don't. Oh, there's a. Sorry, there's a Mustang Mach E parked over there. I was get excited to see those. I still kind of want one. It's the electric like crossover SUV Mustang. Now the purists will tell you, well, that's not a Mustang, <clears throat> but the reality is Ford makes it and calls it a Mustang, so it is a Mustang, regardless of what your muscle car redneck ass thinks a car is supposed to be. It's a Mustang, because they called it one, so it is. It's kind of how that works, <laughs> regardless of whether you like it or not. If Porsche makes a pickup truck, Calls it a Porsche. They call it a, I don't know, Porsche 911 truck. Then it's a 911 truck. And there's nothing you can do about it. That would be weird. <laughs> they wouldn't do that. They could. It's a lot of fries with nothing to dip them in. And they've got like 20 sauces here. I screwed up. Like, hmm. Mm. Give me sauces. Offer me sauces. I shouldn't have to order that on the side. I shouldn't have to think about that. Hmm. Quite the drive through here. They've got the video screens. Hold on. We have the power here. Oh, I don't want to undo the camera. Screw it. I'll show you. They have extra screens. Check this out. It's really not that exciting. I have to show you now. I've talked about it too much. Like, usually they just have the screens for, you know, for the menu. But these guys also have that. I'm not really looking at the viewfinder. It just shows you what they what they serve. The fresh tenders. The, I mean, here's the location. Here's the Mustang Mach-E, if you can see it. I'm not really looking. Let's put that old camera back up. Actually, I'm going to take it down. I'm going to keep eating this. This is delicious. Slim chickens, chicken sandwich, brownie cheese. No, that's the Oreo cheesecake dessert thing. Fantastic. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. Give me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Hit that like button if you liked the video. All helps me out. You take care.